Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Power Apps Mixed Reality's Vertical Lift and Shadow feature. Now, the Vertical Lift kinda just snuck in, and one day when I was testing the view in Mixed Reality, I noticed this feature, and I realized that this really takes the view in Mixed Reality to a whole different level. So stick around, this is going to be very important. But first, here's my intro video. So before we go ahead and take a look at this new feature, I actually want to rewind back all the way to January of 2022 and take a look at this feature, what it looked like those four months ago. So let's go take a look at that real quick. All right, so this is the mobile apps that I was showing and right on the top over there is the fun with Mixed Reality 3D. That's the app that I was referring to there, right there. And now we're gonna go ahead and open the app and in the app, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the View 3D model. So the one right over there in view in mixed reality, that's the one that we're gonna, gonna click. I go ahead and show some of these examples over here. The one that we actually select is the gazebo one. Go ahead and load the mixed reality. And right there, right at the bottom, you see below tap anywhere to place, you've got that camera icon. That's all that we saw, you know, four months ago. But let's move forward because there's a few other things I want you to take a look at. So everything so far is the same. I'm going ahead and moving the, uh, the phone a little to the left, a little to the right. I go ahead and now go ahead and get my gazebo. I can see the gazebo. I can actually go and use my two thumbs to lower the total amount of size. And all of that is happening right in the same 3D model, but I didn't have that additional feature and functionality that I'm gonna talk about right now. So now that you've seen this, let me go and show you that enhancement and that shadow effect. So let's take a look at a real world scenario of how I can use the Power Apps 3D Mixed Realities vertical control. Now what you see over here is a picture of my wall and I'd like to go ahead and put a bookshelf on it. And it would be awesome if I can actually get a 3D effect of what that bookshelf is gonna look like. And thanks to this new feature, we can do exactly that. So let's go and take a look at it. So what you see over here is my Power Apps mobile app and right on the top under recent apps, you see 3D Mixed Reality. So I go and click on 3D Mixed Reality and I'm going to go and select the 3D button and I'll go ahead and select the modern bookshelf because that's the one that I'm going to use. So I go ahead and click on it. It'll take me to this other screen, gives me an overview of what that bookshelf looks like. And now I'll click on the button on the bottom. It says view in mixed reality. As you've already seen this, it will first always point to the floor. And if you want to, it asks you to point device at a surface and move slight slowly to the left, move slowly to the right. And the moment you do that, all these dots appear because it's going ahead and mapping that location of your place. Okay, so after all these dots have appeared, what I can do is go ahead and tap anywhere. Now keep in mind though, this always appears on the floor. So, Because if, if I were to go ahead and try to put it on the wall, it doesn't do that. It's always on the floor. So I'll go ahead and now tap anywhere. And what you see over here is that bookshelf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, using both my fingers or my thumbs, I'm gonna actually go ahead and reduce the size of it because this is actually the size that I want of my bookshelf. Next, I can actually go and click on the top and I can go and turn it a little bit so I can match it at least parallel to what the wall is. I can even move it a little bit over there. But the next thing I wanna do is, is I wanna lift it higher. I wanna raise it vertically. And how do I do that? Well, that is thanks to this new functionality. So I'm gonna actually click on those two arrows which point to the top, I'll click on it and I can now actually go ahead and lift it. Now watch, on the top, this new text came in. It says zero M, which is for zero meters. When I grab the actual image and I move it up, it's actually moving up and it's telling me how high I'm moving it over here. So now that I'm able to do that, also notice on the bottom, it's giving me a shadow effect. That shadow effect matches that entire device over there. I mean, that entire bookshelf. And then moment I go and get it to the height that I want, I'll go and unclick on it. And then I can move it just a little back. And there you go, that is what that bookshelf is gonna look like. It's a full 3D model over there, so I have a really good idea of exactly what that bookshelf is gonna look like, and I think I'm gonna go for it. Another important thing to note is that not only will these objects go vertical on the positive direction, which is moving up, I can also go ahead and put them in the negative direction, which is moving down. Because a good scenario with that is that what if you're going to put an object, say, in a pool, where you are going ahead and doing all of this initial mapping at the edge of the pool, and now you wanna take it down, like on the negative side. Well, this would be that scenario. So just to prove a point, this shelf went up on the top. I can go ahead and now move it down and it will actually go in the negative. You see how that number on the top started having the negative icon over there? 
Well, that means that I can actually go and do it negative. And that's a very important point to prove that it not only does it in the positive moving on the top, but it can also move on the negative, which is moving down for that scenario, which I just talked about, which is using it in a pool. So the important thing is that I didn't have to make any changes for that lift functionality to actually show up. What I did do was I opened up the app and the moment I came over here and actually went ahead and selected on the 3D view control, I got a message. The message brought to my attention about this new feature and functionality. And another thing I like a lot specifically about these 3D controls is it does have those messages coming up, which kind of give you a heads up about these new, this new feature which is tied to it or if this new feature has come out in order for you to get its effect, what you should do. They do a really good job with these notifications over there. But I didn't have to do anything. No new formulas. I didn't have to rebuild anything. The lift feature just showed up. And I just went ahead, just as a good practice though, I opened up the app and just republished it because that's always a good practice. But other than that, it worked. And as you can see, it is awesome. So as a quick recap, we looked at two things. One was the new 3D Mixed Realities vertical lift functionality. And I did point out over there that not only can you go up, but you can also go down in a positive and a negative feature because that will also help you in the scenarios. You know, the one I talked about how you can use it for a pool type of scenario. And then I also pointed out the shadow one. The shadow one was always there actually, but I did want to point it out because in this scenario, when we did the vertical lift, you can really see that shadow effect. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. And as always, keep using Power Apps with the Mixed Reality feature. Hey everyone. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe to this YouTube channel? Because remember, I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed, thank you so much and pass the word. But if you haven't, subscribe, click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.